Hey, it's Mandy Mack here from Poll on the Call. We have a special episode for you today. I just got finished teaching class at Poll on the Wall in our main studio, and now I'm wandering through the hallways of our mill building, um, turning on the lights, making sure I go down the correct corridor because it's kind of like a mouse maze in here. But this new episode is going to show you our new addition to our Poll studio. Um, we just opened a new studio uh, literally down the hall from our main studio, as you can see here in this video. Um, and we've lovingly called the studio Pole Down the Hall. <laughs> and I'm walking down to see Chris. He just got finished teaching his class. I hope I don't interrupt him going down here. <laughs> you can see all the signs. And there's Chris. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. Hey, random people walking. We are Poe on the Call. <laughs> I'm Chris Rivers. And I'm Mandy Mack, and we are from a secret outside location. Yes, but if you visit the studio, it won't be secret anymore. <laughs> oh, what's this in the window back here? <laughs> Stalkers, peeping toms, <laughs> voyeurism. <laughs> well, today we thought we would give you a new tour of Poe on the Wall because um, we gave you a tour of it previously earlier this year and since then in the past two months or three months we've now added a new um i call it the clubhouse but it's <laughs> it's really pulled down the hall yes it is <laughs> it's literally down the hall it's literally Whoa. down the hall from our main studio yes. um, but yeah we're we're outside right now we're from a cool location out here i guess we'll go like this Get in this say. Um, we have a little a <laughs> private place where we could just hang out outside by this. This is the Mill River. And right now it isn't stinky. But sometimes it is. Bombay's Island. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's this over here. It kind of looks cool. There's our window. And there's Chris again. <laughs> Looking at the random people. Right, and the random people. And then the, the cool part about it is if you walk down here to... So walk here. Here's how to get in. I'll show you in a moment. But our main studio is right up here. I'm like, look everyone, it's right up here. Especially if you're on a podcast now listening. This is our, you can't even see it. It's our, that's our main studio window, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that one right over there. <laughs> So yeah, now we'll, let me flip the video and we'll take a tour of Pole Down, down the, the Hall. hall. <laughs> we both just got finished teaching. So this is the secret room if, in case students are bad. <laughs> Put them in the dungeon. Yes. Just kidding. This is our little porch area. We were la just laughing because there's an outlet so you can charge your phone with, uh, in here. With, and there's a light. Yeah. See? Right above oh, your head. Yeah. So like you can literally take a time out in here if you didn't want to go outside. But through these gorgeous French doors. Damn it, I can't get that pole trick. I need a break. I need a break. I'm taking a time out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this combo. <laughs> right though? <laughs> so yeah, we've got our our cubbies here that I'm just like throwing my shit on. Um, Cause it's just me and Chris at this moment in time. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically it. This is the new addition to um, Pull in the Wall. We have lots of classes down here, simultaneously happening to the classes upstairs. But um, the setup down here is a little bit different. Um, and I'll, we'll take you on a tour of the setup. The first thing is we have, um, oh, I guess we should mention <laughs> these worms. There's some fake worms still stuck to the ceiling from our, we had an art and movement jam. The theme was worms and we like, Whapped some worms onto the ceiling so and they're still there. <laughs> so they now live there. Um, we have this cool little cove back here. Um, we've got some yoga balls. We've got some nice uh, bean, bean thank you, bean bag chairs. Um, and we've got our safety mats back here. Um, and it's really cute. Like if you sit back here, like, yes. Taking class. 
ass back to back. Yeah, you need a break. Um, there's also outlets so you can charge your phone. <laughs> that was one thing we, we, we thought a lot about this space because we had um, so much experience upstairs and we thought about what we would mostly want and we wanted more outlets, I guess. Um, but we've got two lupid poles here and there. Ooh. Ooh. I hit my head. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> we <laughs> bounced up. <laughs> we have two looped poles. They're spin static. Um, they are 13 feet, which is taller than upstairs. We have this gigantic mirror that's not as gigantic. It's just bigger than upstairs. And it's seamless, so we can see all of ourselves. <laughs> yes. And then this corner I especially love um, especially like in this, like this angle is just so cool to me. I love this angle. <laughs> I thought about this angle and dreamed about it and now it's here. So let's appreciate the angle. <laughs> and then, so these are our two permanent poles. And then we have a third pole, which is our stage pole. And we have it this way because we could not put another permanent pole because you could see the ceiling is fucked. Um, there's just a lot of tubes that couldn't be removed. We already removed a lot of tubes to get the poles in already, but there's only so many that we can remove. So we thought the stage pole would fit perfectly in here. And the thing that I really like about this stage pole is that um, we can swap out the poles. And right now we have this uh, silicone pole in, um, as Chris will now demonstrate. <laughs> I don't know, that you could pole dance with your clothes on. Yes, because you can just stick to the silicone pole and it's been great. Oh my God, yeah, Chris. Yes! It's been so great for students um, to know that they can actually stick to the pole and they don't have to like worry about sliding around. It's empowering. Um, we also have a lollipop that we put on um, and pole silks. Yeah, thank you, Chris. <laughs> and this corner is especially beautiful. We call it the aloe corner, also known as the owl corner, because it sounds like either or. <laughs> aloe, owl, owl. Uh, but you can see outside. Um, ho sure. Hopefully no one will see in. <laughs> we have our yoga mats along this wall. We have room with hanging things. right hanging it. This is like our utility. There's, you know, yoga blocks. Yoga mat, ho hoops, um, we have our sprays, um, rolly things, <laughs> film rollers. Right now we have a heating issue. This guy is very old and he doesn't work anymore, this furnace. I thought you were going to talk about the landlord like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the landlord is really nice. Yeah, that's what I was like, damn, she called Yeah, <laughs> no, we tried our best <laughs> with this furnace, but it is officially kicked the bucket, so we are using space heaters, but luckily it's almost spring now. <laughs> but yeah, these are the French doors leading out to the beautiful back door area. Um, oh, other features of this space. We have black lights, so you can live out your black light dreams in this space. Um, we also have a projector. I don't know if you could see it up there, but it projects onto the space where the worms are. Uh, we had some fun with it during the worms fun thing. Fun, fun, fun. But yeah. And Lupe safety mask, so if you want to affiliate with us, Lupe. Yeah, we love them. We only have Lupit safety mats at this point in time. Yes, and not Lupit poles. <laughs> and Lupit poles, and we have literally every single kind of pole. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're... Except uh, Amazon. <laughs> yeah, we do not have an Amazon pole here. And we are back. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back. With the end of this episode. It's almost over. And our ends. <laughs> Thank you so much for this coming to this tour of pole down the hall yes. where we have lots of different classes not just pole um because the, the reason why we got this space is because of the bigger dance floor because we ran out of space we were like dancing into the poles upstairs and we were like fuck these poles <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so we have like heel stands down here. We have pound fitness, which is really cool. Yes. Um, we have gen uh, gentle pole yoga, which Chris just taught down here. We have lots of uh, uh, conditioning and mobility classes. Yes, for less. For less. Yes. Uh, sometimes bachata. Bachata, yeah. Lots of different types of stuff down yeah, here. If you like that, but, oh, wrong one. Bachata. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yes. got a little hip. <laughs> <laughs> to jump out. <laughs> I can't wait to try it again. I need to heal my toe. But yes, so this is our, our new space. Um, like I said, we have the classes running down here simultaneously as yes. the ones upstairs. So, um, um, and many of them are online. And if you rent a solo studio rental, you can email um, Paul on the Wall. It'll probably be Mandy who responds. <laughs> um, if you want to request a Lyra poll, um, a the silicone pole or the pole silks for your solo um, rental, we could set that up for you too. Yeah, yeah, and we also have like three hour rentals now. Um, yes. Based on like really the suggestions of all of the wonderful people we've been interviewing, yes. um, some of you have wonderful ways to um, allow students to come in and practice mm -hmm. in your space. So we've now incorporated three hour open practice mm -hmm. and you just come anytime during that three hours. You can stay for the whole three hours if you would like to do that. Yes. Um, but yeah, just come at any time and practice and use all this stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and this place is also um, a, a performance venue. We are having our first burlesque show um, happening in two, two weeks now. Um, right down here, we're hoping to to um, fit 40 people in the audience here and have um, this portion of the area be the stage. And we have our stage pole. Chris will be performing. Um, I will be doing the music. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. And we're hoping for more performance opportunities down in this space too. Um, and hoping that for more than just classes. Yes. Um... This would be before the um, showcase, right? Don't forget. Right before the showcase. To check out our showcase. Submission's are already over. <laughs> you should have already submitted. So yes. now you can just watch. And that would be Sunday the 30th at what time? We, we haven't decided the time yet. Yeah, Sunday the 30th oh, after night. after church or po church. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. At a time that will be con convenient for most uh, time zones. Yes, yes. 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 I think that's it. This was, was another quick episode and a quick <laughs> tour. Yeah, if you are ever in Springfield, Massachusetts, which I forgot to mention that we are in Springfield, <laughs> Massachusetts, come and see us. Or we also have lots of classes offered online. So yes. you can experience the space from your space. Sure can. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. We don't have heels, but that's okay. Oh, no! Flops. Mix match socks for my mix match day at work. <laughs> you should say that. Thank you. Thank you. see our face. Mandy Mack. And I am <laughs> Chris River. We are signing out. My broken toe. I don't know what you can say. Oh, yes, just a little too fast. <laughs>